Waterfront. Are you looking for waterfront in Maine? This waterfront is different. You're on a lake, right on the shore of that lake, but there's stonework and lots of other neat detail. Plenty of parking, no traffic. There's a lot of deck and porch area, and it's handicap friendly. Friends coming to visit, you've got plenty of parking. Hello, I'm Maine Realtor Andy Moores. Thank you for listening, tuning in to the Maine Real Estate Channel. You and I are at 105 West Conroy Lake in the town of Monticello. Let's go down by the shore. See on the left hand side how those cedars are all neatly trimmed? Man didn't do that. Bambi the deer did. We get asked the question a lot. On shoreland zoning, can you buy an empty lot and build this close to the water? Uh, no, you can't. No matter who you are or how much money you want to spend, no, you can't. This is ideal for family members that want to share a space but have some privacy. You can have the daughter with the kids, the grandchildren, down below. Mom and Dad are upstairs on the deck. Everybody can share the space on the main lake. This is your view from the lower level. This is a southern exposure. This is the view from upstairs. Imagine this is what you're looking at as you're grilling, your medium rare or your well done. This is a summer living room. The side porch in your handicap entry. We're all getting older. When you wake up in the morning, this is what's in your lap, out front, as you rise and shine. If you don't want to be out in the sun, or if it's raining out, this is where you hang out. Here's a loon. Go tame the air. He's fishing, looking for little minnows. Twenty-seven by twelve, the size of this front porch room. There's eleven hundred and four square feet of finished living space, 90 feet of frontage on the West Conroy Road. See the stained glass window? There's 190 feet of frontage on Conroy Lake. There's 0.42 acres. That's a big lot. And look at all the landscaping with the rocks and all the flowers. Fifteen by nine is what your kitchen size is. Then you have a little entry behind that. Check out the built-in buffet and the slate sink. Someone rich and famous, and I can't remember who, but down in Booth Bay or along the coast, that's where this got rescued from and repurposed. The real McCoy slate sink. Monson and Maine type. It takes two men and a small boy to put that back into place. Again, repurposed from a later use in your Maine vacation home. Can you see yourself living on a Maine lake to have a lake for a neighbor? The living room with a fireplace is 20 by 16. Cathedral ceilings, two French doors that open to that porch screen room. Two bedrooms, cathedral ceilings, this has a closet. It measures 15 by 10. 
Your second bedroom, you had to leave something for you to do to add your own stamp, is 12 by 10. It's been insulated, plasticed off, and it has cathedral ceilings. Here's your circuit panel. The home had a fire, no one got hurt, it charred a few beams up overhead, some rafters. Come take the in-person tour. We'll talk more about that. More cathedral ceilings. Light colors. Looks a lot like the southern look in Miami. That type of motif. Check out the shower head. Cool, huh? Fiberglass. Modern shower. Lots of storage space. You have to have a proper bathroom feel civilized to have the creature comfort from home. Pretty vinyl floor too. Let's try downstairs to see the area where your daughter-in-law is going to be and the grandchildren. Lots of glass, nice and cool. You don't feel like you're in a basement. It's just a walk out lower level. This room runs the width, side to side, and it has the Florida room outside over your patio deck. You have your own special view down here of the lake. Another gas log fireplace. Lots of cinder block for support. And they left a little piece of rock for you to remind you that you're in Maine. Here's a food pantry, could be a place for beverages for adults, might be an entertainment center location. This door accesses your quotation marks basement, your water heater, your water pump, all the inner workings of the home are right hidden away in the lower level. You have an upstairs. This lower level is walkout because they utilize the lot that slopes. That's what created this walkout basement. Divide this in two. Put bedrooms, finish it off the way you'd want to. Please make comments down below. What would you do with this living space? How would you utilize it? I know you're in Pinterest and have lots of vacation home ideas. Your raised bed garden area. Grow some of the food to know where it came from and for the sheer enjoyment of your summer squash or cucumbers or tomatoes. Almost 200 feet of frontage. Here's your gas cylinder for those fireplace inserts. Here comes a squash. And you could add a gas cook stove. They have electric one that stays in the sale. It actually was a repurposed snack shack. See, it was a trailer that you can move or take with you. If you make it into an ice shack. This lake is extremely deep. We're talking like 108 feet, 110 feet. I know I've snow sledded across it and thought, I wouldn't want to go through the hole and have to fish it back out. I'm a pretty good swimmer, but I don't think I can hold my breath until May. But this is a four season lake place, not just fun when the temperature's high. I'm Maine Realtor Andy Moores. Thank you very much for watching the Maine Real Estate Channel. Please like this video, share it around your social media channels, and please consider subscribing to our channel. What do you think? Make some comments down below where uh, there's a lot more information. Do your steamed clams and lobsters right out on the deck. Make it surf and turf. You work hard, slow down, and live a little better in Maine. For loyal subscribers of our channel, thank you. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider becoming one to get the latest information on the newest listings as soon as they hit the market. There you have it. 105 West Conroy Lake Road, Conroy Lake.